All right, so um, audiobooks, right? Specifically, we're diving into Audible today. You think we had a membership, which, yeah, lots of people are these days. So we're going to take a deep dive into those Audible plans. Got to see if it's worth it, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's all about finding the right fit for you. Like, we'll break down the value of each plan, see what they offer, maybe even uncover a hidden gem or two in the process. And hey, who knows? Maybe we'll even find our next listen while we're at it, right? Right. But first things first, let's talk free trials. Audible Plus and Premium Plus, they both offer that 30-day trial period. Yep, and it's not one of those tricky trials either. You get a full month to just go wild, explore, and if it's not for you, no worries. Just cancel before that trial ends. No charges, no commitment, nothing. And here's the best part. Anything you download during that trial period is yours to keep, even if you cancel. I mean, that's a pretty sweet deal to test it out risk-free, right? Okay, let, let's uh, let's break down these memberships a bit. Audible Plus, that seems like the budget-friendly option, yeah. It, yes. Seven ninety-five a month. Right. So with Audible Plus, you get unlimited listening to thousands of titles, all in their Plus catalog. And actually, looking at this most popular and Plus catalog list, there's a good mix of stuff here: popular fiction like uh, *A Court of Thorns and Roses*, some self-help stuff, *48 Laws of Power*, even classics like *The Fellowship of the Ring*. <laughs> It's a pretty wide range. <laughs> so they're going for variety. Okay, but what if you're a bit more, you know, of an audiobook connoisseur, yeah. someone who wants to pick and choose from, well, everything. That's where Premium Plus comes in, right? Exactly. It's a bit pricier, yeah, fourteen ninety five a month. But you get everything from Audible Plus, obviously. Okay, so what's the catch? What else is there? Well, they throw in a pretty nice bonus. You get one credit every month, and you can use that credit to buy any premium audiobook you want. And looking at this most popular and Premium Plus list, Things get interesting. War 108, that one's sitting at number one, best seller in not just one, but two categories, audible books and originals, and action and adventure fantasy. That crossover success, that's got to mean something. Now, that is interesting. What do you think that says about what people are, like, craving these days? What are they looking for in their listening? It tells me, and this is just me, that people want stories that are different, that break the mold a little bit, blend things in new ways, you know? Like you think about when movie genres collide, sometimes those unexpected combos, yes. they're the best. Right, peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> sometimes those weird combinations are just chef's kiss, right? Yeah. And of course, we gotta mention the classics. I mean, come on, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, still going strong. Not surprised at all. Yeah, you can't beat the classics. It shows you the power of going back to those stories we love and the audio format. I think it adds a whole other level. Like you're back in Hogwarts, but this time it's like Jim Dale is right there with you. Oh, absolutely. The narrator makes all the difference. Speaking of perks, though, we'd be remiss not to mention the Amazon Prime member benefits. Oh, right, right. New to Audible, if you sign up through Amazon Prime, you actually get two free credits instead of just one during your trial. Not bad. Not bad. Although, got to say, for the returning Prime members out there, yeah. those who maybe use those credits already, you only get the one this time around. Bit of a bummer, maybe. Yeah, it's true. Always a good idea to keep an eye out for those special offers, though. They change all the time. Never know when you might snag a deal. Now, let's talk about something important, something I think is on a lot of people's minds. When you buy an audiobook on Audible, do you actually own it? Right. Because who wants to be renting their entertainment these days? And that's where Audible stands out. Anything you get during that free trial, anything you buy with your credits, it's yours to keep permanently. No strings attached. That's good to know. No worrying about losing access if you take a break or anything. Right. So you're building your own library, but like digitally. That's it. That's it. And here's another cool thing. You can actually listen to your library on a ton of different devices. Oh, yeah. Like what? iOS, Android, Alexa, even your Fire tablet, Kindle, Sonos. I mean, they've really thought of everything. But let's be real. The real magic here, it's the content itself, the stories. So from these most popular lists, what have we got? From Here to the Great Unknown. That one sticks out to me. A memoir that hit number one bestseller in, get this, the grief and loss category. That'll, oh. That's powerful. It is. It really shows you, I think, the power of stories, you know, our need to connect with human experiences even, and maybe especially the hard ones. Memoirs and audio, it's like they're confiding in you right there. I can see how that format would be very powerful. Then there's The Boyfriend, number one psychological thriller. That genre just works in audio. It does. The suspense, the twist, the way you feel those emotions, it hits differently when you're listening in the dark, headphones on, like you're right there. It's like your own personal thriller movie, but in your head. 
You know, it's not always the big names that catch my eye, though. Seven Hours to Die. Now, that's a title. It's a new release on the Plus catalog. And honestly, the title alone, it just grabs you. Seven Hours to Die from what? Who are we talking about here? It makes you want to know more. That's what I love about it. It's great to see new authors, new stories popping up like that. And the fact that it's right there on the Plus catalog, it means people can take a chance on something new without, you know, breaking the bank. Exactly. And for the fantasy fans, Fourth Wing, Empyrean, another number one bestseller in action and adventure fantasy. Sounds like it could be a wild ride. You know what else gets me? The reviews. The Boyfriend, for example, over 33,000 reviews. That's a lot of opinions. It really is. And it's not just about popularity, right? It shows you there's this whole community on Audible, people connecting over books, sharing their thoughts, like a giant book club. That's so cool. It's wild how technology changes the way we experience books, you know? Mm -hmm. It really is. Makes you wonder, though, with so much entertainment competing for our attention, why is audio suddenly having this moment? Why is it so big? It's a good question, and one we should probably dig into a bit further, but uh, let's take a quick breather first, all right? So we were just getting into this, this idea, right? Why audio? With all the video content out there, what is it about audio that's really pulling us in? It's like we've gone full circle back to the power of the spoken word. It really is. You know, video, that demands your full attention visually, right? You can't really look away. But audio, audio, it lets your mind kind of wander, create its own images almost. It's like you're creating the story along with the narrator, right? Exactly. And think about it. You can listen to an audiobook while you're doing other stuff. Dishes, going for a walk, even just closing your eyes on the train, right? It's like a different kind of multitasking. It's almost like dot active relaxation. If that makes sense. I love that. It's true. And the intimacy, too. It's just you and that voice, like a shared secret, yeah. you know? Oh, especially with those genres like memoirs or true crime, where the narrator is sharing something so personal, so intense. Right. And those genres, they just hit different in audio, wouldn't you say? Like the spoken word adds this whole other level of, like, authenticity. You're right there in the experience. And have you noticed some voices, they're just made for audiobooks. Oh, tell me about it. It's like they can transport you right into the story. A good narrator, that can make or break an audiobook. They bring those characters to life. You know, the emotion, the pacing, the suspense. It's incredible. It's an art form. Seriously. Mm -hmm. When it's done well, it just adds so much to the experience. And I think it makes you realize Audiobooks aren't just an alternative to reading. It's its own thing entirely. 100%. And, like, you wouldn't say watching a play is the same as listening to a radio drama, right? Yeah. They both have their own magic. And just like any art form, there's always something new to discover. Mm. A new release, an author you've never heard of, even an old favorite. But in audio, it's a whole world out there. That's what makes it so exciting. <laughs> so as you're figuring out if Audible's right for you, Think about what you want, that huge plus catalog, the freedom of those premium credits. And don't forget about those Prime member perks, that trial with the two credits, perfect way to test it out. Absolutely. But no matter what you choose, I think we can agree there's something special about audiobooks, isn't there? A hundred percent. Now, before we wrap things up, there's this one thing. We've talked about the power of audio, the intimacy, the narrators. What about thinking? Well, it makes me think, with all the tech advancements these days, like virtual reality, AI, could audiobooks become even more immersive? Whoa, that's a thought. Like, what if AI could create a whole soundscape for a book? Music, ambient noise, all tailored to the story. Right. Or imagine VR, where you're actually in the book. Yeah. Walking with the characters, experiencing it all firsthand. Wow. The possibilities are crazy. They really are. So, as you're heading off on your own little audible adventure, Here's something to think about. Think about it. What if this is just the start? The future of storytelling. What if it's this blend of technology, audio, you know, creating experiences we can't even imagine yet? Now, that would be something, wouldn't it? It's yeah. pretty exciting to think about where things could go from here. It really is. Well, I think it's safe to say we've explored Audible pretty thoroughly today. We covered those different memberships, found some interesting titles, even got a little philosophical about the future of it all. We did. And hopefully by now you've got a better sense of whether Audible's right for you. Yeah. And hey, maybe this got you thinking about audio in a whole new light. Or at least inspired you to finally start that audiobook you've been putting off. Right. No matter what you're looking for, entertainment, knowledge, a little escape, there's a whole world of audio out there waiting for you. Happy listening. And on that note, that's a wrap on today's Deep Dive. We'll catch you next time.